Welcome to Through the Port Light. I'm James. And I'm Angela. And we'd like to give you a glimpse into our life aboard a West Sail 32. We're originally from Kingston, Ontario, but over a year and a half ago we decided to make the move to Vancouver, British Columbia, and have not looked back ever since. We actually recently moved to Vancouver Island, uh, where we have our boat moored. And at Vancouver Cove. At Vancouver Cove. <laughs> and it's one of the most beautiful places that I've ever seen, mm -hmm. and we are so lucky to live out here. Yeah. And people have actually heard about other people living aboard living aboard a boat yeah it's, where it's almost an, like a normal thing here yeah in ontario it's you know you look, get looked at a little bit like funny you're, you're crazy <laughs> you want to live aboard a boat <laughs> we met in kingston ontario three years ago and we worked on a river cruise ship called the canadian empress which traveled between kingston and quebec city on overnight voyages um, i was a chief mate on board and angela was a stewardess and we met and just got along so so well and couldn't famously st couldn't stop talking no. and we just um got along great and hit it off and here we are we just found that we have so many uh, similar interests history and um a fascination with boats and uh, also a ratio hornblower and we like to travel and we really really love to travel and just uh, experience awesome things new adventures new adventures and uh so i think that drew us to this lifestyle years ago i, I took a sailing course um it was a basic keelboat course and um i just fell in love with sailing i never grew up sailing at all or boating for that matter at the moment the engine stopped and the sails were up and we were being propelled through the water uh under wind power alone that was that's all i needed right there awesome yeah <laughs> And uh, after that, I started reading a whole bunch of books, uh, Lynn and Larry Party, books by cruisers who were out there doing it and writing about it. And I just got drawn into the whole uh, idea of traveling around the world or just the world being such an open, open place where you could just go anywhere you want for... Uh, under your nothing. own power. Under your too. own power, yeah. And just the skills uh, that you... Um, get while sailing and learning how to sail are just skills that are you know so primitive sailing's been around for centuries thousands and thousands of years it's low tech it's very low tech <laughs> yes in a high tech world yeah it can be high tech for some i guess but that's true you can get really hung up on a lot of the yeah the details and the latest gear but yeah, yeah. i basically decided to pursue a career in the marine industry in Canada. So I took a course in Prince Edward Island and it was a three month course called Bridge Watchman. And I started working on ships. I've done some time on uh, offshore supply vessels and bulk carriers in the Great Lakes. And um, I eventually bought a Bayfield, 25 foot Bayfield, 1981. And I did some of my own single-handed sailing in Lake Ontario. Um, the, of course, the season's very short in Ontario. And also, I was working at the same time, so it was very uh, hard to find time to go sailing. So uh, after about three seasons of, of owning this uh, sailboat, I ended up selling it. Um, it was also a good learning experience as far as the size of the boat, but I also realized that it was probably too small to live aboard and I wasn't quite ready to live aboard at the time, so I sold it. You sold it just, what, three months before we met? Yes. And we were talking yeah. and getting to know each other, yeah. and I found out that he had a sailboat. I was like, why did you sell it? 
Yes. How so disappointed. If you, if you saw how small it was, you'd be you'd be gone. It would be a deal breaker. You'd I have say, seen photos. You'd say nice little boat, but maybe not for full time little no. bird. No. no. <laughs> um, yeah, you wouldn't have any room for any of your stuff, let alone my stuff. Yeah. We bought our boat uh, one year ago, almost to the day, and we've been living aboard since October. We spent uh, the summer months trying to work and, and at the same time do a whole host of boat projects because we knew we wanted to move aboard in the fall. We're still very new to the lifestyle and we're learning new things every day. Every day is a challenge and an adventure, so we thought we'd like to just share it with you. and. You know, just like we've watched videos from other people going through their experiences and we've lear learned a lot from that. So, mm -hmm. you know. Through people's trials and tribulations and successes mm -hmm. and challenges, it's all just one great learning experience and I think it's really fascinating to be able to see, you know, a, a glimpse into someone else's life. Mm -hmm. um, doing something that maybe you're interested in and so we spend a lot of time watching other people's YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, Curtis Westsail is one of, he's one of the reasons we actually are on a boat right now and that we have a Westsail. So a big thanks to him, definitely. He gave us a good kick in the pants. Yeah. Thanks, Curtis. <laughs> we are living a lifestyle that's maybe a little bit more unique. Um, there are a lot of people out there doing it, mm -hmm. but in the grand scheme of things, I think it's still a little bit of a, a niche, a special niche. So um, we've had a lot of people say that you know, oh, what do you do for this? Or um, how, how, like, you know, how could mm. you fit all your stuff on the boat? Or different things like that. And yeah. there's a lot that we'd like to address um, and show you. And we definitely don't know what we're doing, really. We're just kind of <laughs> winging it every day. <laughs> Making educated guesses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'd like to say a word of thanks to three people. Curtis from livingboardboats.com. Alfie from Life is Like Sailing and Meds from Sail Life. You guys have been so instrumental and so helpful and so supportive. Very supportive. Um, you know, you're a constant source of inspiration. We love watching your videos. We learn so much from you all. And we wouldn't be starting our own channel without you. And, um, you know, your, your friendship means a lot to us. So mm. thanks, guys. Plus, you uh, pressured us into making this. <laughs> Stay tuned for some upcoming videos. We'll discuss why we chose this boat and the search criteria that went into it. We'll also talk about our goals and our plans in the future. And, and we'll also give you a boat tour. Yeah, a boat tour. <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> we'll have to clean up first. Yeah. <laughs> our, our favorite video channels we've learned so much from. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we make, we've, made, we've made tons of mistakes since the beginning of this little expedition. And we'll make a lot more. And we're going to make a lot more. <laughs> and you could watch it all. Yeah, yay! <laughs> you can sit there and tell us what we're doing wrong. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching! get a video up. <laughs> we bought a boat in the summer and did a whole schwack of projects and <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> a schwack yeah, it's a schwack hi welcome to through the port light i'm james and i'm angela and we're going to take you into our our, our boat <laughs> Through the port. We're gonna pull you through the port light. Your little heads are gonna fit through there. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Through the Port Light. Fucking flies. <sighs> Hi, and welcome to Through the Port Light. I'm James. And I'm Angela. And we're gonna take you into a glimpse of our life aboard a West Sail 30. No. Into, no, what no. take you? Take you. No take you. Well, no take you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. <clears throat> We're going to take you into... <laughs> and we will... What will we do then? <laughs>